the functioning of reason in the light of faith reminds the reason that it is not to stop short, it's to go to the fullness of truth. And today, once that faith was rejected, it turned out that in society, reason has become a relativist, a nihilist. There is a doubt whether the reason can know. And many people fall into the trap and they say, well, we don't know anything. You have your opinions, I have my opinions. And truth cannot be known. And if we fall into this trap of thinking that truth cannot be known, even outside faith in the realm of reason, huh, how can we make decisions about our life? How can we decide to marry? How can we decide about a vocation if truth cannot be known? Huh? Theology looks at the truth that has been revealed, transmits the truth, and tries to perceive its intelligibility, tries to see what is involved, tries to unpack the truth. So of course there needs to be an attentiveness to culture, to resistances in society, to uh, expressions of thought which are around in the world. But in theology, primarily, what we have to say, we transmit the faith that has been handed down from the times of the Apostles. Since the Middle Ages, since the time of Saint Dominic, there was always a Dominican who was given this position. Now for many centuries, the master of the sacred palace was obliged to give lectures in theology to the papal court. Another part of the office was doing the censorship of all the books published in Rome. The master of the sacred palace had to permit the publication of books. And the last part of the job was going through the texts, the speeches which are prepared for the Holy Father. There has to be a theologian who has to ensure that what is presented to the Holy Father is, is within the Catholic tradition. Basta. <laughs>